Right, originally uh, I was going to do this review around about six weeks ago, maybe a bit more than that. Uh, and what I did is uh, I, I got the device and I did all the close-up work and then I thought, right, I'll use it for a couple of weeks and then uh, see what it's like and then I'll get back to the review. But in the meantime, my stepmother died. Uh, so everything went to pot. So here I am right now. And the review today is going to be about this, which is the S22 uh, from Jack Vapor. Now, you know that I like Jack Vapor devices. And uh, basically, just on a quick close look at it like that, obviously, it just looks like a stick mod. That's what it looks like. But it's a bit more to it than that. Uh, so before we go any further, let's have a quick look at what you get inside the box. And then we'll get back to it. Okay, this is the box uh, that the Series S22 comes in. Uh, usual thing on the front, TPD warning at the very bottom there. And on the back, uh, basically what the uh, box contains, the kit contents, and more about the device itself just up here. So let's open the box. It's a slide out box. <sighs> Put the top out of the way, and then we'll open up to see what we get inside. First thing you'll see is that we've got a set of destructions. Once again, I always say this on every single review, is basically you should watch, uh, sorry, you should read uh, the instructions from start to finish before you use any sort of uh, vaping device. Get that out of the way. And then what we're left with down here is a USB charging lead, a nice chunky one. It really is a nice chunky one, that. Uh, a spare coil here, and I think this one is... A, Without opening it, I can't say, so let's have, have a look and see. Uh, that's definitely uh, a mouth to lung, not a direct lung. So that's the coil. I have got another coil somewhere else. And so let's get the, all that out of the way and we'll have a look at the mod itself. Here we go, here's the mod. So here's the S22. Um, it's not a lot to talk about on this mod. I, I really wish it was. It, th this mod is one of them just sort of press and go. You know, to turn the device on, it's a matter of uh, five clicks on here. One, two, three, four, five. And you'll see that it lights up ready to use. Uh, this down here is just a logo. It's not another switch of any type. Um, got Jack Vapor written on the bottom. And it's got a, a recharging port for your sm small micro USB. Uh, on the top, we've got... The S22 tank is not a lot to tell you about this. I've already done a review on the uh, this type of tank. Uh, but the good thing about the new tank is that it's actually uh, top filling. If I unscrew the top, you can see there that we can fill in. We've got some fill-up holes on each side. Uh, I'll screw that back together while we take the bottom off. But well, before we take the bottom off, I'll just show you. You know, if you can see there, this is the airflow. And you just adjust it by turning it one way or the other. Uh, it's a nice stiff airflow, so you know it's going to stay exactly where you want it to stay. So we unscrew the tank itself. This is where we get access to the coil. And we've got no coil in there, so I'm just going to search out a coil. Just bear with me a second. Put that there. Right, here's the other coil, what was in the box, and you would find it somewhere. Now, for the purpose of this review, I'm not going to use a mouth to lung. I'm going to use a direct lung. It. Normally, with the, the, the Jack Vapor products, I normally give... Uh, what can I say, uh, a mouth to lung it. I'm, but on this occasion, I'm definitely going uh, direct lung. So I'm just going to open this package in here. And there's, I don't know if you can see it, there's a little direct lung it uh, coil. As you can see, it's got a massive airflow at the bottom. So what we're going to do is we're going to put that into the base, just show you how simple it is. Get hold of the base. Screw it on. Sorry about my fingernails. I've just been I've just been planing a piece of wood, so I'm a little bit dirty at the minute. And that's ready to go. So what we're going to do is I'm going to prime that before we start using it. <sighs> I'm not going to use that one. Which one shall I use? I'm going to use this one, which is actually from Jack Vapor. I've never tried it, so we might as well sort of give it a try in this review. And it's called T. Can you see that there? Got no idea what it's like, but we're going to prime it with this and we're going to vape this in the review. So let me just stick a bit of uh, juice in there to prime it. A bit down the middle. Yep, and a bit in each hole on each side. 
yeah. a bit more on that side and then we can screw the tank back together put the top back on that's ready to go I'm going to unscrew the very top while we fill the tank up itself get in there you won't be able to see how full it's getting from the side here that's it we've more or less full to the top now screw the top back on and I'll put that to one side uh, while we have another look at the mod now as i said before not a lot to show you on this mod it's got the logo on it's got a spring loaded 510 connection at the top and a fire button uh, and it's obviously an indicator light right there which is the fire light can you see that uh, to turn the device off is the same way as to turn it on which five clicks um all i can tell you about it really is the battery i think it's a 2600 mile battery i could be wrong on that but when we get back up on top and talk talk about it i'm sure we'll know now i've done this review in advance of doing the rest of it so what i'm going to do is i'm going to vape it for a couple of days uh, and then we're going to sort of uh, try talking about it right that was it that was what was inside the box obviously not a lot uh, i had to go fumbling about there for a, a different um, coil it will take two types of coil this will take a mouth to lung and it'll also take a direct lung coil now you know normally that i'm a person who sort of vapes at mouth to lung i love mouth to lung but occasionally when you watch a few of my videos you'll see that i do actually uh, go down the road of uh, direct lung so that's what i put in it i put a direct lung uh coil in here now what can i say about this device before we go any further uh, is one thing which i've noticed a lot of people have says about this device is that it's a starter kit that it's ideal for the person who's beginning to vape uh, i sort of i don't so sort of, i don't really disagree I, I more think it's an everyday vape device you know one of these things that you can just pick up press the button and go uh, basically you stick it in your pocket you don't have to worry about it that sort of thing it's giving them two options between uh, mouth to lung and direct lung it's all just preset or you'd have to press the button and away you vape uh, so whether that is a starter kit i don't know but i class that really as an everyday vape this is something where you don't have to be messing around with you know settings to set here set there uh, fiddling around with the coils or anything like that it's basically just screw the top off put some juice in it and away you go uh, so that's why i'm classing it i'm classing it as an everyday vape when you sort of say uh, a beginner's kit it's like it's as if it's only aimed at the beginners and i know that it isn't aimed at just the beginners this is aimed at any vapor out there uh, so there it is there's the device as i say the only thing what sort of pulls it away from being a stick mod is basically when you turn it on its side you can see it's a little bit wider and of course the reason why it's wider is because that is where uh, the engine is that's what i like to call it yeah that's where the all the circuitry is which makes this mod regulated it's 2600 mile battery it says that in the close-up I did turn out saying the close-up that it wasn't a lot to talk about on it now this review is kind of two reviews in one i know i shouldn't have done it this way but i am doing uh, only because when i came to uh, do the close-up work on that the only juice i had nearby was actually a jack vape it was one of the brin sources range and it's one called tea yep uh, i've got no idea what this is going to taste like so it's going to be a new one for me so at the same time as using the device we're also going to be using the e-liquid uh, that I also got from them as the, I also got from them as well. Now, before I get into it, one other thing I'd like to mention: yes, this device was sent to me for the purpose of a review, and I was quite happy to do that review, not to get the device. It was nothing to do with that. It's just that I, li I like Jack Vapor products. I've had a few of them they've not let me down and the good thing about them is that they seem to be out there on their own they're not sort of copying anybody else sorry about that it was a fly away in my mouth uh, they're not copying anybody else and the good, other good thing about it is that the only place you're going to get it from is actually from jack vapor or you might get it from one of their subsidiaries that sort of thing but anything goes wrong you know you're going to be able to send it back to jack vapor because there's not going to be any clones out there so uh, let's get straight into it i've got the uh, the air piece fully opened on there so that the vents are fully open let me just try that make sure i should have my glasses on really for this shouldn't i <sighs> i 
Where's my glasses, Steve? Sucking away there. Ah, I have to put my glasses on. Blind as a bat. Right, yeah, I've got fully open there. Yep, yeah, that seems all right. So we're just going to sort of jump straight into it. Let me show, make sure it's turned in. I, I already know what this is like. I already know. Because I've been vaping it for a couple of weeks. It hasn't let me down, by the way. So here we go. Beautiful. Now, before we get into the juice, I'm just going to tell you a little bit about the tank there, yeah? It's the S22 tank. I've already done a review on it. I'm sure I've already done a review on that tank, top filling tank. And it's a choice between mouth to lung and direct lung. And I've got to be honest, on mouth to lung, uh, sorry, direct lung it, it's a little bit hard. It's a little bit hard to get that in, but, I, you know, I am doing it. Just watch. I am achieving it without a doubt. It's definitely not a mouth to lung. Let me just try a mouth to lung on that. You can do that, but it seems a little bit airy for a mouth to lung. It really does. Um, the performance, as you can see, it performs. It does what you want it to do. If you're a little bit of a cloud chase, you know, somebody who wants to sort of produce a lot of vapor, that sort of thing. Don't forget when you put the MTL uh, coil in there and you've got your settings right ideal for you know just mouth to lung you're not getting a massive big cloud out you're still getting all the flavor that sort of thing uh, but overall i love this device and the reason why i love it is because you know that i like stealthy easy to hold stuff easy to operate stuff i mean what's it's nothing easier than just pressing the button and going that's it now as far as the liquid is concerned because we are going to have a quick talk about the liquid I've got no idea what that's supposed to be, but it does say T, and I'm presuming it means T. That's what I'm presuming it means. I'm getting a sort of... I'm getting a real pleasant... It's a bit like... A bit like chai tea. It seems to have a little bit of cool lard in it. It's giving that nice cool taste. I'm getting a sweet tea, yeah? It's hard to explain this, isn't it? It's really hard. It's not like a milky tea or anything like that. It's like a Chinese tea, you know, when you just do it with water. Maybe you've thrown a little bit of sugar in there. And in this case, I think they've thrown a little bit of cool, cool lighter in there. You know, a bit like an icy boost. It's not menthol in any way. It's, a it's even got a slight taste of liminess to it. Just a slight, in fact, it's really, really nice. Uh, you're asking me, will I vape the rest of that quarter wheel? Without a doubt. I've got three balls of that and I'll be vaping all of it. Love it to death. Review wasn't originally about the uh, T. It was actually about the S22. I can't tell you enough about it because there's not an awful lot I can tell you. I can turn around and say to you that it's lasting me all day, every day. Yeah, so, um, but I have been using it on a mouth till long. Yeah, uh, but it has, it has lasted me all day, every day, before that to recharge it. Is there any sort of fallbacks I can say on this? Yes, and I've got to turn around and say it. I have to turn around and say it, even though I don't want to call the device, I'm not slagging the device off, it would certainly wouldn't stop me from buying it. But the fact that it charges up on the bottom, so basically you have to lie it down. I'm not a big fan, it's just me and my own preferences, is I'm not a big fan of having my tank sat down like that on a table. I prefer everything to stay up, um, I know everything's staying in the tank there, nothing's coming out of that mouthpiece, you know, as it's sort of seeping through with uh, capillary action, that sort of thing. Although I've not had no leaks from the tank whatsoever, I really haven't. Um, that is the only bugbear. No other bugbear at all. I'm happy with the colour, I'm happy with that, that steel finish because it isn't a stainless steel, it's like a gunmetal steel, the way it looks. Uh, I'm happy with the massive big window that it's got on the tank. Once again, it's more about the full device. The mouthpiece, absolutely excellent. There's a few people out there who's going to turn around and say, well, the mouthpiece is all very well and good, but you can't pull it off and put a di different drip tip on. Well, I have actually found that I can fit a drip tip in the top, although it does make the device a little bit longer. Although, I've got to be honest, it's designed for what it is, and it really is a nice mod. It's a nice, 
everyday mod, something that you can use every day and you can rely on. I haven't got anything else to say. I hope you enjoyed the review. Uh, if you've got any questions, please put them down below because I'll always answer them. You know that I, I, I'm pretty uh, proactive in talking to you guys out there. I appreciate feedback and I also try to give feedback back to you. Now, if you wonder where to get this from, I am going to leave a link down below uh, to Jack Vapor. After all, they did send it me. And um, am I passing this on to anybody else? Hell no. Hell no, I'm not. This is like... I don't know, it just sort of reminds me of something that I've used in the past which was really good. I'm not going to mention the name. I love it to death. Thanks for watching. See you.